Hi, I'm Nick. Welcome to Van Life UK, a complete survivor's guide. Today, we're going to be talking about error codes in Chinese diesel heaters. Error code one. This is a low voltage error code, which can be caused by several things. It could be your battery is low and needs charging. These heaters require a lot of power on start, so if your battery doesn't have enough power in it to heat the glow plugs, you will get the error code 01 and your heater will fail to start. Oh, it stopped itself. You will also get the 01 error code for volt drop. You will get volt drop if you extend your power cable to reach your battery with cable that is not thick enough to handle the extra 12 amps your heater needs on startup. If you are going to extend your cable to reach your leisure battery, we recommend using 6mm squared cable. You will also get volt drop if you wire your heater to, to the fuse box and the cable to your fuse box isn't thick enough to cope with the extra 12 amps. So it is best to go directly to your battery via the inline fuse attached to the wiring loom. Another thing that might give you the 01 error code is the controller being set to 24 volts instead of 12 volts, as these controllers can be used on both types of heaters. Sometimes they are set to 24 volts as standard. If your battery is old or has been run down too low too many times, there is a good chance it might need replacing. Even if your battery is reading fully charged and can power your lights and USB chargers, there could be damaged cells inside the battery, and as soon as you put a heavy load on it, it will fail and your heater will not start. Error code 02. This is a very simple one to explain. Error code 02 is a high voltage error. You would only get this error code if you have attached it to a setup higher than 12 volts. For example, a 24 volt setup with two 12 volt batteries wired in series rather than parallel, or a variable 240 volt transformer set to something higher than 12 volt. This is a very uncommon error code for van lifers to see. Error code 03 is a glow plug fault. This usually means that you'll have to replace your glow plug no matter how long you've had your heater for. This could mean that the mesh around the glow plug is blocked with carbon and needs replacing. You will also need to change the mesh if you change the glow plug anyway. Sometimes when your battery is damaged but fully charged, the voltage of the battery will be high enough but your battery won't actually be able to power your glow plug properly. So it will not give you an E01 error code, it will give you an E03 error code instead. Error code 04 is a pump error code. It could be as simple as the clip from the wiring loom is not clipped correctly, or the metal pins inside the clip are not making contact. It also could mean that the piston in the pump is stuck and tapping the pump lightly with a hammer might free it up. Using kerosene instead of diesel can make this happen, as diesel adds lubrication and kerosene doesn't. Error code 05 is an overheating code. This could mean that something is restricted somewhere. It could be that the hot air ducting or vents are blocked. This could be as simple as you have put a bag in front of your air vent and restricted the air hot air. It could also be that the bends in your hot air duct are too harsh. You are also meant to leave enough space between the fan end of your heater and any obstructions. If you do not have at least a 3cm gap, your heater can overheat and give you an E05 error code. Error code 06 is a fan error code. There are several things that could cause this and it's unfortunately a very common error in these diesel heaters. So first check that nothing has gotten into your fan stopping it from spinning. Sometimes the outside casing of the heater is pushed in a little, restricting the fan from spinning. Unscrew the round bit on the fan end of the heater, pull the lid up and check to see if the case is pushing against the fan. There are also two little magnets on the fan. The magnets tell the motherboard how fast the fan is spinning, so if they're not making contact as they spin, the motherboard thinks it's not spinning and will give you the E06 error code. And with some units, the build quality of the fan itself is so bad you need to reposition the fan altogether. If none of the above work, this will be a problem. To avoid the problem, send it back and order one of our tried and tested diesel heaters. As always, all links are in the description. Error code 07, this is a controller fault. Most common is that you have either upgraded to a non-compatible controller or you have been sent the wrong controller by your supplier. If you have an uncommon controller that you can't find any video tutorials on YouTube for, chances are a lot of the common controllers will not work with your motherboard. If you're going to change your controller, you will need to change your motherboard too. Don't worry, it's a two minute job. If you have not replaced your controller and you randomly get an EO7 fault, I don't envy you at all. It could be the controller, the motherboard or wiring loom that has a fault. The blue cable that runs from the controller through the wiring loom and into your motherboard is the most likely culprit, but which section the fault in is anybody's guess. If it was me, I would start with the controller, then the motherboard, then the loom. It's probably cheaper to buy a new heater than to replace the controller, loom and motherboard. Error code 08 is a fuel system error. No fuel is getting to the heater for the glow plug to ignite. If you have only just installed your heater and not primed it yet, you will get the EOA error code. You need to prime the heater before its first use and any time you run out of fuel to get the fuel from the fuel tank to the heater. If you run out of fuel, you will get an EOA error code, so make sure there is enough fuel in your tank. 
Remember, if your heater is tapped into your van's fuel tank, the installer is likely to have not put the standpipe all the way to the bottom of your fuel tank in order to avoid using all your fuel when you're parked up. If your van fuel tank has a quarter of a tank or less, this might be the problem. E08 can also be caused by air bubbles or pockets in your fuel line, and these can be caused by a few things too. If you drive with your heater running and you have low fuel, the sloshing of the fuel in the tank can make the pump suck air into the fuel line if it pulses when the standpipe is not submerged fully into the fuel. Don't run these heaters as you drive. Another name for them is parking heater, not driving heater. If your pump is at the wrong angle, it can introduce bubbles into the line because of the way the piston works. Make sure that the heater side of your pump is at least a 45 degree angle upwards. You could have a leak in your fuel line somewhere, so your fuel is not actually making it all the way to your heater. Make sure all of your fuel line clips are tight and nothing is dripping out anywhere. And finally, the biggest cause of both the E08 and E010 error codes. The soft green fuel line that is for some reason supplied with these heaters is not fit for purpose. You need the rigid nylon type. With the green soft stuff, every time the pump pulses it introduces air bubbles into your fuel lines. It pulses multiple times per second so it does not take long for a huge air bubble to build up in your lines and when the air bubble reaches the heater there will be no fuel to ignite and your heater will shut off thinking you have run out of fuel. Oh it stopped itself. So the reaction to that is prime it but as it was just an air bubble the heater will be over primed and when you try to start it you will get error code 10. This is because there is too much diesel in the heater. This will often result in fuel running down your exhaust or air intake making you think you have a leak. Another problem with the green fuel line is that it is soft and it can kink like a garden hose. This will restrict the fuel and give you the EOA error code too. So moral of the story is, do not use the green fuel line. If your heater is delivered with one, change it. Error code 09 is a temperature sensor fault. However, I have never seen a heater with a faulty sensor displaying an 09 error code. What normally happens when your temp sensor has a fault is your heater turns itself on and blows cold air with the fan spinning for no reason. So if this has happened, your heat sensor most likely needs replacing. I'm not saying that it won't throw up an E09 error code for faulty sensor, as it might well do, just I have never seen it myself. So as it is a sensor code, if you get an E09 error code, the first thing you should try is replacing the overheat sensor. We've also heard stories of the heat sensor not being the problem with an E09 error code and it actually being the controller. So if changing the sensor doesn't work, try a new controller. Error code 10 isn't really a helpful error code, to be honest. Error code 10 will appear if your heater has failed to start multiple times or for any of the errors mentioned above or for any error that doesn't have a code number. So one thing that error code 10 could be that does not have its own error code and that is the heater being flooded. If you prime the heater too much and there is too much fuel in the burn chamber for the heater to work it will not give you an E08 error code as it is getting fuel. It will give you an E10 error code. If you've just primed your heater and you can see fuel all the way through the line with no air bubbles and are getting the E10 error code, then over priming is the most likely cause. Similarly, if you have not primed your heater and there is not fuel in the fuel line and you keep pressing go, then getting E08 error code after a few attempts of it not firing, it will give you an E10 error code because there will have been multiple failed start attempts. And as we've mentioned multiple times, the green fuel line is not fit for purpose. Replace it with a rigid nylon one. And that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. We are Van Life UK, a complete survivor's guide. Please subscribe for more videos and happy camping.